Guys, welcome back to the ILB Drivers Club podcast. It's episode two. Uh, some really great feedback, first of all, on episode one. So thank you very much to everyone who listened and watched on YouTube. I appreciate that. Um, so today we thought we would discuss Worthesy. Um, and this whole episode will kind of be focused around our trips to Worthesy and some tips on Worthesy. We have uh, myself, Adam. I am James. James is back. And today we have a special guest. Uh, Pete. Hello. <laughs> Peter Matthews. No, no, no. Don't do the full name, like. <laughs> to want people to I'm find like you. share. So, uh, Pete, uh, really quick, has been with... Well, the reason Pete's on is because you've obviously been to Worthy Sea with us. I have, yes. In 2018? 18 and then last year with other people. Petraeus. Yeah. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, Pete, for the viewers at home that uh, may not know who you are. Um, well, I pretty much paint your whips. That's uh, <laughs> sort of how I know you guys. Well, I don't. I, I know you from like car scene, obviously, and doing shoots and stuff. I remember like the first time I met you was the Blue MX-5, Donna Gade. Yes. Do you remember? Abs- I do the remember. The windiest night ever. It was, was good, though. Um, Pete, yeah, as he just mentioned, painted my E28. Um, he's painted my M3. He's probably painted the other cars as well at some point. I Definitely did, I painted 335 as well. Yeah, I did, yeah. Did you probably painted uh, half my cars. I like to I tend to crash them a lot. Like? You painted my bumper. Did, did JP's bumper too. All right. Okay, so where the <laughs> sea, uh, James, how, how many years have you gone to where the sea? I actually can't remember. Is it three or four years? I think <laughs> we, we, were did, there. we did it before Pete. I was going to say, you were there in 17, and then I came here with these in 18. So that must be... Yeah. Three years we've done it, uh, yeah. So that's yeah. be fourth year then. We yes. went to H2 before we even went to Worthersea. I know, we went to America. <laughs> people, people were like, you went to America before you went to Worthersea? We ne- to be fair, I think we kind of dropped the ball in realizing how good Worthersea actually is. I was going to say, because you didn't really realize how good it actually was. Yeah. Really until you got there, like, so. Definitely. Very good. Very highly recommended. That's why we've been back every year. And I, I think, in fact, um, the after movie that we put out from it is probably... Our biggest one of the year as well. It's definitely my mm. probably my favorite of the year. Yeah. Speaking of which, we just went up when we're recording this. Just went up two days ago. Yes. Um, and uh, it's doing really well. So, if you are just listening to this on Spotify, um, go watch the World Sea film. Mm-hmm. Give some views and some feedback. Appreciate that. Uh, before we go any further, actually, want to drop in. This is real in podcast style here. A shameless <coughs> pug. plug. Oh, pug. Right. Pug. Where's the pug? <laughs> pug. Uh, basically guys uh, if you are watching this and you don't know anything about LB Drivers Club uh, everything that uh, we do is supported by our online store so if you want to support us head over to the shop which is shop.ilbdriversclub.com and pick up some merchandise we have t-shirts, hoodies, hats, stickers lanyards, air fresheners all that jazz so uh, there will be a link in the description on the YouTube and if not just uh, go to the website so yeah, there you go that's the podcast plug or pug that over with. Boys. See you later. Yeah. Uh, we also want to pick a competition winner from the last podcast. We're going to do that. We're going to do that closer to the end. And then we're also going to do another competition as well. So if you want to win some free merchandise, keep listening, keep watching, and we'll do that at the end. So yeah, let's get stuck in. Where are the Let's get started. Let's right. get started. We'll talk about your first year there and what you did or... Yeah, well, I, I've got loads of like random notes. I'm sure you guys have loads of notes as well you yeah. want to talk about. I actually thought it maybe be worthwhile just mentioning the bit, which is like the obvious thing, which is where the sea um, to us is actually different to what it is to everybody else. Yes. And I think it's very important to kind of briefly mention. Yeah, like don't go to the show dates. <laughs> well, I mean, oh, that's, sorry, that's, that's yeah, not yeah, about yeah. you, you can go to the show dates. If you <laughs> like essentially, like people go for the gallering beforehand. Yeah. So well, where the sea, we actually were Googling it to get the exact name beforehand, but it's a <laughs> GTI Treffen. Treffen or where the sea Treffen. But um, essentially, that is the official event and it runs between May 20th and 23rd in 2020. Um, I have the blurb from Wikipedia. Like Should I read it? Let's go for it. Tell the folks. Uh, the GTI meeting is one of the world's, world's largest VW meetings. Uh, it is. It has been taking place for four days in. It has been. Jesus, who wrote this? <laughs> it has been taking place for four days in 1982 in the Austrian town of Reifenitz on Lake Wethersee. The event now has 200,000 visitors. It was launched in 1982 by Erwin Neuwirth. Can you read that? 
Is that, is that did I say that right? I can't see any bit on the page that says that, but yes. Uh, there we go. Uh, <laughs> yes. So started in 1982, um, and then in 1987, it received rifling. Sorry, received a monument with the granite GTI, which is you know I've seen that. We ha- we have seen that. Was that 1987 or 97? Uh, 1987. So that's that. That's Mark, I did that for my birthday in 1987. That's when I was born. That was for me. Jesus, you're sure old. Was. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's been uh, that's been actually there. Uh, for me, we always just drive by that and be like, "There's that golf. I will take photos. There's that load of breeze blocks on us." <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. That thing's been there from 1987, um, and it's a one 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 scale, uh, 25 tons. I imagine it to be much smaller I than one to one. Swore there, Adam. That's unbelievable. It's <laughs> <laughs> so 25 tons and um, was brought to Reifnitz on a special transport. That's all it says. But anyway, does it not it, stay there? Uh, it must. I thought it like stay there all the time. Yeah, I think it does. It yeah, it drives. <laughs> <laughs> it I, but they don't take it away for the show. Right? It was imported from <laughs> southern <clears throat> Sweden. There you go. And uh, from which young Stunesman apprentices, Stun Mason, <laughs> Stone Man. <laughs> <laughs> Stone Mason apprentices chiseled a uh, Golf GTI uh, into the, into well, the ground. It. There you go. So that, that is the official event. Sorry, um, we don't go to that. No. no. We've never been to that. I'm pretty sure we all leave before it even happens. We do indeed. So I don't really like Volkswagen. <laughs> wow, that's the touchy subject. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I can't say that. <laughs> Um, so yeah, the official event, uh, just to say that again, May 20th to 23rd. So when do we go? We this year are going May 6th to 16th, also known as the week before, which is what we named our film last year. Um, or we're actually going for almost two weeks this time. Quite a long trip. Um, so yeah, like, uh, why do we go that week, James? Do you, can you explain it to the folks at home? Because everyone else does. <laughs> you pretty much does ask them, what, what dates are you going, boys? <laughs> I, I will, but we'll, we'll meet you there. Um, so. Yeah, that's never everyone that has, like, cool stancy cars and also ones that are not just Volkswagens because, yeah. obviously, it's a Volkswagen event. And it's true. It is a Volkswagen a event. A lot of other people turn up then. But they do try to go earlier, so there's less police presence as well. That because is Because if you go true. at the right time, the speed bumps aren't, aren't out at the garage, and then boys can do their launches. They I didn't realize that they That's why. came and left. The speed bumps I, are always there. They, they go, only put them they? in yeah. for uh, the event. The event. So there you go. So. Um, yeah, so that's... Uh, sp- speaking of the event... <laughs> Sorry, small bird. Take a minute. Do you explain the, uh, to explain the event, explain everywhere you go, where the sea basically is a lake. It is. There we go. We're getting right a down to fundamentals here. Velden Armors? Is that what it's called? Well, Reifnitz. Reifnitz. I guess that's I'm, all on the lake. I'm isn't butchering it? that. There, are Reifnitz, Reifnitz, Reifnitz yeah. um, is where the event is held, but we typically always kind of stay. The epicenter for us really is Velden, Velden isn't it? Yeah. yeah, it is the yeah, sort of epicenter, and then obviously you. What? Just like the word epicenter. Oh, do you like that? I'm a professional. I've actually wrote that down in my notes. Someone's been in the thesaurus. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't spell it. Um, so, Velden, Reifnitz, and they're kind of actually almost on opposite ends. Not really on opposite ends because the opposite end. Well, Velden's Velden, right at the top of the lake. Yeah, and then on the opposite end is Klagenfurt. Um, yes. And then Reifnitz is just a little bit, it's on the south uh, end, but on Klagenfurt side. And Reifnitz is just down from the par- pyramid, isn't it? If I yes. remember right. So there you go. Speaking about the pyramid, another big location. James mm-hmm. has been dying. To I have lots, pyramid. lots, lots of to talk about it. The pyramid. the pyramid. I've literally got the word pyramid. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so the, yeah, that's obviously one of the main focuses as well. Um, is like you'll see it in all the photos, all the videos. Is it's also not a pyramid at all, but yeah, it's a, and we can't say that. That's the name of it. Do you want to try and say the name, there, James? Pyramid. <laughs> what is that actually? Peridongle. Something more. Let's see. Peridongle. Peridongle. Like Peridongle. Di- like dinosaur or something. Um, <laughs> so that is kind of on situated on top of a hill. That's a really. Um, important kind of location a lot of people sit on that hill the whole way up and of course at the very top there's the james I was gonna let you say oh sorry i missed my cue we'll <laughs> go for that again yes uh, of course everyone uh, yeah. <laughs> just rewind a bit <laughs> what's at the top of the hill james? there is a large 100 meter tall oh he's got, oh, the, he's got, he's got the research oh. he's got the statistics it's a slide well, it's actually a 360-degree viewing platform over the area. So if you want a good view, mm-hmm. go there. 14 euros to ride the best slide that I've ever been on. Are we, are we paying, are they paying for this? 
Well, well, I, I'm we're like, a celebrity yeah. up there now. I walk in and they're <laughs> like, like hey, he's back, guys. There's the this podcast guy. was brought to you by the Perdungle slide. <laughs> the Perdungle. Are we also, just going to recall the Perdungle? Also, whenever you go and you're going down the slide, there's a section that's completely clear, and that's where the camera is. So whenever it goes it? clear, I didn't even notice. Pose. I just scream and close my eyes. <laughs> yes, and you can watch that in our video. Um, you also have the choice whether to take the stairs or take the lift up. Yes. So you do. Which, I'm just going to put it out there, Clark took the, the lift last year. Loser. I, being a fan of a steep incline, I took the stairs. Yes, I took the stairs and nearly had a hernia at the top. <laughs> and then just call him a loser. <laughs> um, so the slide, uh, the hill, which is right beside Rifenates, also yes. near there is... What? Sorry, Sorry the, it used to be good for sitting on, but then they started barricading off all the laybys. Yes. So it's actually... Still a good spot, though, to go in. It's a nice, fun road to drive as well. Yeah. Um, and then at the bottom, is that where Turbo Curve is? Turbo Curve's quite Turbo close curves to there. Fuckery. Fuckery. It's another oh, this. right again, I'm thinking of something else. There's like a burnout area right around the corner from that. What's that called? The old Peril Station. Yes. The really old Peril Station. We never really hunt, like go uh, to that. I've never mm. been. It's called... Um, James, and take note, has just moved to page two of his notes. My notes are looking real bad compared to you guys. Oh, like. it's this one here. <laughs> I can't say that. Sabo Technic. See, Garage, shitty was, looking old one is what James has wrote. <coughs> right? <laughs> but I do well, know. there you go, guys. That's, you heard it here first. Hot go to the shitty spot, looking it? garage. It is, but there's always police cars on it, so. Right, so it's burnout, but there. watch out for the caps. Um, so, yeah, that's uh, near Rifnate's Pyramid, Slide, Paradongle, shitty looking garage. Some interesting f- facts here going on, definitely. Mm-hmm. Um, near Velden, then, we have the new petrol station. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Where yes, you can buy did. seats. You bought a seat. You can. We did buy a seat last year. It's quite handy. left the seat there, did we not? I think, did did we you did not just buy a seat, left it for a shot, yeah. and then left it there. <laughs> like Mark sat on it, and then that was that. <laughs> that was that. Yeah. Um, also, also, money make pay here. You can also wash your cars there. You can indeed. Uh, there's a car wash. Never had a car to watch there, but... And McGuire's had like a... Uh, there's a, like a mini stand, trade stand kind of show park car park. There's a, well, it's basically a car. Oh, park I in park. the actual garage car park, and it's yeah. like fenced off. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't you have to pay. Do you have to pay to go in it? I think you do have to pay. Do you? I'm not really sure, but people do park there. Do you sure all those car parks around there? People you maybe know, have to park. Uh, yeah. Right yeah. Off, yeah. Although I don't know how legal that is, but people do stand at the entrances to the car parks and ask money, money for you to park there. <laughs> yeah. And the supermarket ones have security guards that don't let you park there. I guess the one across the road, uh, they won't let you park on at yeah. all, will they? Yeah. Um, so that's kind of the main locations. And then Turbo Curve, which I previously mentioned, is at Fakersy. Yes. Which is a massive car park that people are just parking. Yeah, for free. And it's basically just a beer tent. Boys just go get lit on mm-hmm. steins. And yeah. shout stuff at cars. I've never really seen <laughs> In German. any of that side of it. I just go to the car park. True. What, what do they shout? Gummy? Gummy, Sparnet, yeah. Gummy! That, I don't even know. The uh, gummy is the kind of saying you'll hear flat out over there, and uh, I think it means burnout. Yeah, and is that German or is that yes? I don't Is there an Austrian? <laughs> I think it just depends on Austria where you are for your language, right? Ah, right enough because it'd be closer you to Italy and stuff, French, and... Italian. But yeah, gummy is the chosen word for there in Northern Ireland. It's so yeah, make sure what, you what is it in Northern everyone? Ireland. What are people right here? Well, they're right. Keep her lit! <laughs> Let us hear ye. <laughs> Show us your death! You know what I mean? Something like that. No balls! Ah, it's always a good one. To um, so, what else we got here? Locations, trying to inform the people. <coughs> Alpine Pass. We were there a lot last year. The Alpine Road. The Alpine Strass. Oh, yes. So many names. Strass. The right name. Nice. Nice work, Pete. Yes. Ten points to Gryffindor. That's why <laughs> he's definitely in Hufflepuff. I had a sticker um, on the back of my phone that said it for a while, you see. So oh, really? Sort of, yeah. That's where, of course, we did the uh, ILB meet last year with Camber. Uh, you would have seen it in our Worthy film. You would have seen it in the vlog. You would have also seen it on our Instagram. We basically... We shut the mountain down. Basically did a <laughs> pop-up meet at Worthy last year where we announced before we were going that we're doing this meet on this day at this time. We'll announce the location. Um... And we did that, and two hours before we announced location, and we turned up just two hours before, didn't we? And there was yeah. within five minutes, there was a car in it, yeah. and then within like thirty minutes, forty minutes, the whole place was full. 
Um, and then I, they actually shut down the toll road because it's like, how much is it to get on it? 15 euros? Yeah, it was else? about 15, 20 euros. I think it was, it was about 20 or something. Yeah. They shut down the toll apparently because the, the queue was too long and they just told people to go away. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, but we are actually going to do that again this year. We're going to do another meet. We'll be the same sort of situation. Um, this is the first time you're hearing us, is it, James? Basically, we're going to do... Um, uh, the same sort of thing. We're going to do a meet with Camber and two hours before we'll announce the location. So keep an eye on our Instagram for that if you want to come uh, hang out. What else have we got, James? Where the sea? Are we still doing places? Yeah, well... So Veldon, obviously. <coughs> Veldon. Yeah. Casino. Casino. There is the big fancy yellow hotel. The ah, big the one fancy the, yellow hotel. The money boys stay in. It's like a thousand pound a night or something I, stupid. I actually looked. You know, <coughs> funny enough, we had set our dates there when we were looking where to stay. That place was like literally 15 grand for to, to stay in. Seriously? 15 Gs. And your man, what do you call him? Jason GTI. He stays over like three weeks. Yeah, but he... Uh, you have to pay for the parking spaces. They pay for the parking spaces. And he spaces. gets them all. <laughs> <laughs> he brings his fleet. <laughs> so he does. Let me just bring my fleet of cars here. Yeah, fair play to him, Wick. Definitely a um, very good spot like to uh, just walk about and experience. Veldon's actually a beautiful town. Yeah, I even really like the cars. It's, it's just actually really nice. To be. Really nice. Yeah. It's almost like, why are these kids coming here with all our flam motors? <laughs> <laughs> Those flam motors. But... Um, yeah, so Veldon. Uh, it's a good place at night to chill out. Yeah, and drink beer. Yeah, you can drink beer. There's good food. Get a pizza. And yes, food places. Yeah, very busy, like twenty four seven. Aye, it's like well, not that if you're from Northern Ireland, it's like Port Rush <laughs> on Sunday night. You know, <laughs> it's a bit nicer in Port Rush, but Rush. a bit better than that. You know, <laughs> and they wouldn't have the Morellis now. You know. They do have ice cream though. They got that really nice ice cream. Right? And they have the casino has that underground car park. A lot of people take the photo shoots in. Yes. Um, Sorry, take the photo shoots. A couple of years ago when it rained a lot. Yeah. Um, the what was I going to say? We're talking about uh... <laughs> completely lost my train of thought. Casinos. Uh, oh, they shut it down. Sorry, that's what I was going to say. The police actually end up at night time. Oh, sure, yeah. they close one side of it and force then all the cars to kind of go through. To kind of stop it by one a.m. Is it or something like that? Yeah, as it gets more rowdy, like the crowds of people from either side slowly close in to the point that it's only uh, it's really like a past. single track yeah. road. And then that at that point, you definitely have to do a burnout. Yes, if you're driving by, and lots of people. <laughs> like, they probably beat your car <laughs> if they don't. It's a bit dodgy, to be honest. Yeah, it's yeah. a bit ropey. Like, <laughs> but it's always like a a polo or something that's doing yeah. a burnout. I, like, you all hold the know. cars as well. Yeah, I they, they, they love like, to hold the cars while they're doing burnouts and front wheel drive polos. Um because you can no get offense, a rear, you can get a rear, of course, like but and because you can get a rear wheel drive polo, of course. Yeah. Um but uh yeah, that's the kind of the nighttime. Where else? I'm trying to think. Maria Worth is a nice little location. Not Maria is that Worth. the one with the pier? I can't remember. Yes. Is that not where the actual and That's show right is? beside Reifnitz. Reifnitz is where the show Are we is. Filmed right. Mercedes there? Yeah, we filmed a couple of things there, but it's just mm. a nice place for lo- a little location. For photo shoots. Um, on the other side of the lake, have you noticed, by the way, there's not much on the other side of the lake? We never really No, because that's the motorway, pretty much. Yeah, we, there's, we basically never go to the north yeah. side of the lake. Um, uh, we cl- drove it down it last year just because of where we were staying. I mean, that our, was our main way in the Veldon. How far away were you staying last year? <sighs> I think it was about 45 minutes down our way. Was so it, it was. annoying every day? It was. But well, we were only there for like two days last mm. year because we were in Italy first and we did a wee. Drive. Um, oh, James has something to say. Where were we driving whenever we almost ended up in Slovenia? Uh, was it Slovenia? Slovakia. Slovakia? Slovakia. No, Slovenia. 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 I was going to say, the Slo- uh, Slovenian border is very close. Yeah, I've got, I've wrote Slovakia. Well, I've wrote Slovenia. Well, should we tune in next week and you'll find out <laughs> which should country is to the, the south. Right here. See where um, it that's to the south, isn't it? Right, but like sure. we, did, we went through passport control by accident. Yeah, that's what I mean. We, we went through really passport control. We didn't we, have we, passports we either. Deep. Was this last year? We didn't have passports either. Yeah, we basically were shooting Moe's Porsche and we just ended up... Um, we'll just go down the road a little bit more. Following the GPS to try and get back on the motorway and we ended up like driving through the, the access road for the boys that work in the passport huts and then just drove past them all and then just turned around the corner and all of a sudden we're in passport control and we're in so, a different country and we're just <laughs> like... Don't, don't, we don't, don't have passports. None of us had passports or anything. They just actually waved us on. We really, were kind of lucky. To be fair, Are they let you in? No, well, we were already, we managed to get into the country. We were trying to get back into Austria. Oh, right, okay. But you, I don't really you know. snuck in the Slovenia then. 
That's I, 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 I saw it's a bit raunchy there, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was sneaking in with the, the smart cars in the Austria last year because we weren't allowed to go in. Oh, because oh, you're Well, the rental company wouldn't let us drive in Austria. You better hope they're not listening. Yeah. Gold car. <laughs> Screw you guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um, Probably shouldn't have said the brand of the uh, <laughs> <laughs> car rental, like, but I doubt uh, that that woman in Italy sitting watching you. <sighs> she's just like, oh, out there, day. I can't believe it. They got us. Uh, what else? Uh, excess car night is in Klagenfurt, where I previously mentioned it's the other side of the lake in Velden. Uh, them guys have tapped into the market well. Like, yeah. is this happening again this year? Yeah, yeah. Basically, as mentioned, it's a week before everyone goes. <coughs> sorry. Or two weeks before, um, an excess car night, you were like, you know what would be a good idea? We put an actual car show on there. <laughs> <laughs> and now basically everyone goes around that event, uh, around that week. And so they, that's when their event is. So that's actually good fun because they, it's in the name. It's yeah. at night. So everyone just goes get gets lit. It seemed to be, uh, like I watched the vlog last week because yeah. we didn't make it last year because we were stuck at a place having dinner. So, uh, I know, I was and, like, actually uh, going to use that. Yeah, he was like, where are you? I was like, like mate, we haven't got our flipping main course yet. Like, and it was like 10 o'clock. Yeah, so that was good crack, actually, last year. Um, yeah. Definitely recommended to do that. It um, did make that weekend, though, like, the traffic was... Ah, it was it mental. Was ridiculous. You couldn't oh, drive Trying to get in the whole thing. place. Just trying stopped. to get in the veld and at all it was mental at some points, like. It's sometimes worth just walking about rather than ah, trying, to trying to drive. drive especially yeah. to the petrol station, because, like, you, you're just, like, do you remember... Do you remember last year what we were doing in the van? Holy crap, I just remembered. <laughs> we basically, we rented this, like, what was it? it it's a T9, is that what it is? Transporter? Yeah, transporter like, yeah like a nine-seater. Is a T9 the right thing? I'm not a transporter guy. That's just say yes. You're a Volkswagen guy. I know, T9? It would be like, the last one I know of was like a T5. Yeah, see, T5. So it's going to be like a T6. Yeah, T6. Let's Where the hell T6. did I get with T9? It was a nine-seater. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I meant. That's hey. how Adam's brain works. <laughs> transporter nine. <laughs> Are you tell me that the T5 isn't a five seater. <laughs> Most vans are like three seater. Oh well, there you go. I was incorrect, but they. <laughs> so that's what I thought. T9 meant all along. Hey. Uh, um. <laughs> anyway, uh, we had <laughs> we had a transporter, <laughs> <Turn up. laughs> and uh, we thought we were better than everyone basically, and decided just we would take all the back roads. We're like, screw this traffic. We're not winning any traffic. And I was using the GPS, my phone, to like drive in uh -huh. between fields, like down all the little lanes <laughs> over like. All these little tiny access roads, down footpaths, everything. Footpaths. Oh, we decided. What about the pedestrians? We decided oh, if there was like a junction, like about 20 cars away on the left, that mm -hmm. we could bypass those 20 cars on the other side of the road and make it there. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, whenever cars were coming towards us, we'd just nip into people's driveways. To be fair, like, whenever you're falling <laughs> Adam in a car, it is pretty terrifying. Like, I was driving, <laughs> Adam is just, Adam is shouting at me, being like, go, go. And I'd be like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just like I don't care I don't care about these people <laughs> <laughs> you look really you really look like Avenue to super bad there <laughs> <laughs> really appreciated that uh, but uh, yeah basically exactly what James was saying so a car would be we were on the other side of the road driving down the road and be a car driving towards we're like oh shit where do we go and just pull into someone's driveway and be like oh, hazards on oh nothing's here and then they drive back oh, and away we go again it worked really well we cut out quite a bit of traffic yeah so that's the approach then, just... Yeah, now we're getting to the, <laughs> now we're getting to the real tips. Ah, we right. drive on this side of the road in our country, so we will continue. <laughs> we will stay on the side. <laughs> all right. Well, it was just getting really frustrating that all these people were just sitting. They were all getting out of their cars and all. Because yeah, like, there was, was so bad. much traffic. They were literally standing out of their cars. I think it was we're last like, year we were, to be here. we were actually... We bought, what did we buy? I needed to really confer with Tom here. <laughs> <laughs> We bought ding, something. Ding, we bought ding, something. It was like ding, tennis ding. rackets or something, and we were hitting the. Uh, no, it was badminton. That's what it was. And then every time we stopped, we play like a, a game on. Yeah. So we did. That's nice. So that's something to do in traffic. Top tips like. for trafficking. So yeah. we were the people driving by you, basically. Like you used to the, your cars playing. Could well be ping pong yeah. or something. We no, because we would have like hit the map, you. Because that's <laughs> kind of what we were doing. We weren't really yeah, playing with we... each other. We're playing with the cars. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, gotcha. Uh, so what else last year did we do? There's also speed cameras absolutely everywhere. Was there? Are there? <laughs> yeah. Oh, on the way down? No, no. No, in, they're not just in, on the motorway, though. No. In the tunnels? In the towns, there's those little boxes. Is there? Oh, my God. <laughs> Here. <laughs> <laughs> just remembered, like, first year we went, how many speeding fines did I get? Yeah. I'm oh, sure that the second year you couldn't drive in Austria. Uh, James so had to take over. That's why James drives now. I think I've. We've got the German border, and I was like, get out! <laughs> <laughs> I think Swap. 
First year, basically, you're like, we're, I won't be coming back to Austria. So about two months after we got home, I got like six speeding fines. Yeah. I think they're a good <laughs> they're, couple of grand. Like They're in the town. They were like a couple of Gs of uh, speeding fines, and I just never paid them. So like I'm probably a wanted man in Austria. So now James drives, skies. and I just sit in the passenger seat shouting at him. It's your time to drive on the other side of the road now. <laughs> Um, you got you you did got you, you did got, got good you did got you got you one got speeding fine last year didn't you yeah I paid it because <laughs> probably my fault did you get one it. last year didn't you? Yeah. yeah I paid it for him so I paid that one but mine were like the car I was driving wasn't even in my name so it didn't really matter whose yeah. name was it guys oh, okay um he's that's, old that's so somebody called matter. guy by the way not just a guy <laughs> <laughs> no no guy Hanno um he's old he wouldn't even, he, he wouldn't even know how to work a podcast <laughs> podcast what's that there <laughs> uh, so last year we um, obviously had the transporter. We drove down from Munich. Yes, yeah, so we that's kind of. We should probably speak about what we actually typically do as well, and mm. what, how we actually go about going to the sea. Coming from Northern Ireland, we fly out of Dublin because Belfast airports suck. Um, Dublin directly to Munich, rent the car in Munich, and drive five hours. Yeah, four or five. Four or five hours. Yeah. Um, south over to the border. And uh, down into Velden, the end. There you go. Now you have the information. You do have to pay extra fees for driving into Austria. I Normally, with your rental car provider, make sure that you uh, do that. We and are then, basically a travel and you need podcast. to buy. Let's use the word vignette. <laughs> oh, oh, the vignette. Yes. Uh, yes. The wee so sticker you, you put in your window. You just didn't buy one last year, did you? We did I? Oh, we did you? Did I want to get into Austria? I think. Okay. I yeah. th- I just remember somebody being like, "You have to have one of them." What? Yeah. <laughs> we had to get it like somewhere near the border, and then I was you sweet for down through Austria. It wasn't that day. It was only like yeah. ten euros or something. Yeah. Per car. Yeah. Um, last year also I had that really bad toothache. Do you remember? And then oh no, it was two years ago. Mark was from Russia and he had like these Russian tablets that was just all Russian writing over them and I was, he was like Adam take these and I was just like oh, <laughs> man, my tooth so sore so I just started taking these Russian tablets and I was just like what 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 are these you weren't in a great mood that year because that was the year that the, uh, all the bags the, went I missing they lost the bags as and well James had to buy, drive back to Munich I did he, 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 we did have that Focus ST which is alright <laughs> that's right we had this like the speaker in the car and it sounded like fast as I'm not going to swear. <laughs> <laughs> you can swear, Pete. That's fine. Go, st- go do it. Fast as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Um, shout out yeah, to Lipo, by the way. And in the last one, commented on the podcast saying, um, Adam, after literally 15 seconds or something, I dropped an F-bomb in the podcast. <laughs> you <messaged laughs> and you're a bit about me. I do swear a lot, like, but I've been keeping it pretty good here. Like. That's all right. Don't worry. We'll, we don't get insulted. Um, but yes, I remember you sitting on the phone with Aaron Ingus. While we were doing like one of the shoots, trying to get your bags back. And it turned out they were in Munich for like two days already. Right. And they didn't even tell you. Yes, those bastards. And then James had to do a drive on his own. I did. Back to Munich, which I'm th- he was okay with. So I think James likes being on his own. <laughs> I do. <laughs> <laughs> I actually drove the whole way back with you. Jordy? Jordy? Oh, yeah. yeah. He Was that him heading home, was it? Yeah. There you go. In a straight piped GT86. It oh, sounded yes. like That's hell right. the entire way. <laughs> Right enough, remember you tell me about that last thing? Jordi, he's from uh, Belgium, what's his yeah. Instagram name? Was spot. he Jordi Media? One of the guys that was with the Ferrari shit? Uh, he's always with no. Mike Crot. Mike Crot. Oh, yes. Big Mike, as we call him. Me and him got really drunk in uh, Italy. Did I not see this photo? <laughs> I thought that was the story over. <laughs> the end. When we in Italy? <laughs> Whenever we went to that, um, <laughs> Stan's Land. Well, <laughs> when we went to that stance land, sounds like a <laughs> that theme park. Stance I'm not going to lie, I don't even remember. Well, you weren't there. I know what you weren't there, but I don't, even, I, I don't even remember you going. It was before H2. Last year? Yes. It was very Italian. What? It was in Italy. Didn't know where you went. How was the pizza? Fantastic. We have pizza every day. That's, like, <laughs> that's the best thing about Italy. <laughs> that's one I go about uh, with Velden as well. It's pretty much all pizza places. I just love pizza. We, you know, James loves to be margarita. Can't beat it. Mm-hmm. No, no, no pesto. Anything, though. No, no <clears throat> massive pesto. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> right. What else? You so if you don't fly, you drive. Drive people. A lot of people drive. A lot of people in the drive. UK. Yeah. Yes. We looked into driving from the UK, but it's a long drive. This, uh, Especially because you have to take a boat. Are you considering it this year? Or? No, we're not going to do it. Not gonna we're going to fly. We're cool. going to fly. That takes four days out that I don't have to worry yeah. about. Yeah, like, it, t- it, takes <laughs> it was the four extra days. I was just like... <laughs> <laughs> Man, 
we drove to Poland, like, and see when you're actually trying to come back from Poland, it's like we just want to be home. It's like I know that drive home. That's what I was thinking because we were, we were obviously talking about driving the van, and then I was like, that's grand driving over, but it's the drive home. You'd be like, I yeah. don't want to do this. And, and like, it takes a day just to get yeah. to. And we've like Euro an tunnel. extra boat as well compared to most yeah. other people. Well, that's what I'm saying it takes a whole day just to get the flipping edge of the UK. I haven't even left the UK. Yeah. Um, well, you technically do through Ireland, and then you get back in. You know. Mm, uh, but uh, then it takes another almost on a, like realistically you should do that in another two days like but we yeah. could you could blast that in one well, a lot of people day. i think when they do the drive they stop in munich yeah and spend the night and then which i think is really strange because you've basically done the whole drive at that point i was gonna say when you're in munich you're only four like four hours. hours away it's like oh, just carry on it's four hours uh, between friends <laughs> 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 um so yeah we're gonna drive we're gonna fly sorry um People have a lot of trouble, James, when they're driving. Is this correct? Yes, this is correct. There was correct. quite a calamity last year. There was with, quite a uh, calamity. Quite a lot, few people, one of them being your man, Georgie, who is Civic. Um, and then, what do you call your man that has the green Mercedes? Joshua. Yes. Joshua. They got stopped and stopped. impounded. They did. I think the story was they did they not park across from a police station in a services, and then the police were like, no problem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's like you put it on fresh air, boys. You know? Fresh meat. That's exactly what it was, you know. And then I think they impounded all the cars where they were like lowered a wee bit. Or... Yeah, well, this is the thing. Germany is like, oh, beer man. Beer man's back. I'm nursing this boy over here. Like. We will be taking uh, comments. Like you could, you could we'll be taking comments in the comments. We're taking different topics. We're taking comments in the YouTube uh, channel to see if you can guess who beer man is. Pour that, James. This is how you get the perfect head on a beer. If you're, I will describe what you're doing. James is currently strangling a can of Guinness upside down, and he spilled a bit. He spilled a bit. Mm. Where? You don't. I was going to say you need to do the, you know, the harp thing. No, you know, you don't we don't have, have the harp on, on our... We forgot to discuss what we're drinking today. Oh, sorry. Well, it's the same as last <laughs> last week. Well, well, last me month. and James are drinking Guinness, and you're drinking a wee burr, aren't you? I got a Moretti this year. This year, it's burr. Uh, Pete loves to call it burr. Did I say this year? Yep. What the hell is wrong with me? Is, uh, this, a, is this a yearly podcast? Yes. Is welcome it? to 2020. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we are here to stay. Uh, yes, last month I complained. I had. You should probably do if you're going to do this, like do like a a different beer every month. You know, like something yeah. really random. I don't drink anything but Guinness. That's probably we probably should have talked about that during the week. Like, ah, uh, well, you know, I got my I changed beer, James. I well, this is my first one, so you will not be back. I'll not be back. <laughs> it's already too much for me. Make it count. <laughs> um, what do you else you got? What else you got on that list, there, James? Um, are we finished on with the German place and how? If you're going to drive through Germany, you should probably drive through it sensibly and air it up and. Yeah. I Not mean, in a car. That doesn't they're help, very like, strict on their T. Their modifications. UVs. Yes. Pretty called? much, you can't modify cars. Yeah. So whenever you're rolling through with, not to be suggestive of anyone, but with your arch sitting in the barrel, yeah, rolling across the motorway, you're probably going to get in trouble. Like air night, yeah. Driving down the motorway, air night. It's probably going to attract attention. Like, also, since we have not actually been in modified cars, we don't really know how the place act. But at our meet, they um. Whenever we were at the meet, there a lot of people got done for not having front number plates. At our at the ILB meet, yeah. Yeah, because I remember there was a couple of English cars that got in trouble for that. Right. So I think your car has to be pretty legit if uh, you're going to take it. Austrian police. Quite uh, nice. We, but you firm. think they're nicer than the Germans? The Germans. Yeah. The Germans. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're quite firm, but I think they're fair enough. <laughs> firm. They just fair. love to get that whip that card machine out and oh, get yeah, some money yeah. off. <laughs> you like that's like, really what they love to do. Boys, like, what about a card machine? Mate, you'd be standing there and be like, don't like the look of your jib, son. Get the car machine out. Contact this. Bang. Bang. Under Bang. you. <laughs> See ya. Maybe a little bit more professional than that. But uh, Andy from Keen Suspensions uh, got in trouble with our mate. Um, I don't even know why. Was it him? He part, his doesn't part, have a front plane. Was it the plane? Yeah. And he got his ass out. You see it in our film. Uh, oh, he literally yeah. just whipped the bags down. <laughs> there like, was an Jesus issue the year Christ. before, I think, with uh, when we were filming his car. Yeah. I remember something happened to it and then the police just came and... Mm. Oh, yeah, being dicks for no reason. Thing. Yeah, but he whipped his ass out actually, and that like at that meet, I like ah. stand beside the cops, which is pretty funny. Like that, pretty good looking Miocus, <laughs> Miocus. I Still don't know what that means. Like something about like a meow of a cat, <laughs> but you do it towards a, a, 
<laughs> really? Do you know whenever, like, like, so oh, here we, we go, James, here we go. If you're with the boy, like, and they're all like, <laughs> <laughs> but it's like, you know. So it's a bit nicer. What? <laughs> That's like the, the way that they use it. They don't do the barking thing. Because we do we. Bark I was going to say, women? do we bark at each other? Well, not us personally, but I mean, I've, <laughs> I not I, us fine gentlemen. Like I would never bark at a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, how do you do? Hello there, good to see you. Do <laughs> <laughs> you get on like a full dog? Uh, Hello so. there, can I sniff your butt? You they, say, they, they just say meow. <laughs> ah, okay. So meow is like what's happening? So in I think it's like meow. Meow. <laughs> You're missing it here, Pete. I am. You've went straight back to what's happening. It's really we're losing it in the translation here. So we are. Woof, woof, woof. <laughs> yes. <laughs> meow, meow, meow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, well, well, just, I carry on to something else. Sorry, that time. Oh, sorry. Well, I'm not going to clear that up there. Do you remember that time it snowed? I snowed. Uh, we didn't go. I know, but do you remember <laughs> that time that it snowed and I everyone was just like, whoa, it's snowing? I wasn't there. That was the year I think Guy went. It was? Yeah. Oh, Jesus, should we talk about our friend Guy going to the wrong week? <laughs> I'm taking a Honda. This is why we're doing this. <laughs> he really missed it there, didn't he? This is why we're doing this podcast, so you don't go the wrong week. Go the right week, unlike our friend Guy. Yeah. What did he do? He went don't, the wrong week. Don't I knew. <laughs> but like, what week did he go? Did he go too early or too late? Uh, did he go the... He went over the actual event. Yeah, he did. He went, he went leader, over the actual event. Leader, yeah. Yeah. Because I think they wanted to do the event. I was like, suckers. <laughs> oh, so they actually didn't... They didn't do it by accident? No, I think they wanted to go oh, to the show. I actually thought they just... No, they didn't they just go in it. Oh, up. <laughs> where is everybody? <laughs> you know, but no, I I'm think sure he wanted to go to the show. Lots of Volkswagen enthusiasts. Well, there is lots right. of people who want to go to the show. So but... he went to the actual show with a Honda? Well, I don't think he showed the Honda. Bright yellow? Yeah. Civic? Yeah. Nice. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure he did a couple of burnouts outside the ca- casino. <laughs> Classy. Classy guy. I think he had too, like. Got me. They're probably going to burn him out if he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you bring a not a Volkswagen? <laughs> what you? Ever weather? If you want to talk about the weather, weather. Wow, this really is Do a you need to travel know? podcast here, guys. Welcome <laughs> back to the ILB Drivers Club Travel Podcast. Today we're talking about Austria. Shine your shoes, get your light. Tar already. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, oh Jesus! You need to know what clothes to pack. <laughs> oh my God! Jim. I mean, we've I mean, on, like we've been on holiday before. <laughs> I no, mean, hold on, hold on. James clearly well, has some well, prepared. Well, yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Let the man speak. I was going to say, James is always very prepared for things like I've this because he has all the best clothes. I've wrote warm, low down. Oh, cold, high up. Right. So top half. Be prepared. No, not your body, the <laughs> altitude. <laughs> yes. well, Do you not remember whenever well, we had our car, mate? And it was freezing. I right enough because we went right to the top So you're not saying wear a hoodie with shorts? Well, that would be. <laughs> well, no. I wore shorts with a hoodie last but year. I mean, that works. But I mean, right to the top where there was snow, and it was right. fine. So, um, so there you go. I just mean pack a hoodie. All right. Gosh. All right. Calm down, <laughs> James. Half a Guinness, and he's getting ready. Like. Um. So we're talking about where the sea. We're going to wrap up on where the sea, but there's a couple of things left to talk about. Um. We. I wanted to mention some photo locations for people that want to go down and take photos. Yes. Um. A really good one, actually. I have to pull up my maps here just to. Describe where this is. It's south of where the sea. It's south of Velden. It's almost like directly south of Velden. There's like a river. Um, there's not like a river. There is a river. <laughs> it kind of winds around. And there's a place called Frog. And there's a place called Die Schitz. <laughs> the Die Schitz. That's how I think you said anyway. Um, anyway, if you just drive around there, and actually there's, so, there's no traffic, uh, lots of open fields. Um, you can see the river. There's a little bridge. If you follow that that river, you will find a little bridge where we filmed um, Moe's Porsche in our last Where the Sea film. Um, and and there's lots of uh, places you can take photos and, and have peace where you, there'll be nobody else kind of about. So definitely recommend there for photo shoots. Anywhere you remember, James, it would kind of be Where's worthwhile. Where's the actual show at? Right. Right. There's that little jetty that everyone takes photos at. That's where that is. Oh, if you're looking yes. for it, there you go. Right. We've never once taken a photo there. No, but everyone takes a photo there. <coughs> I think right. that's just as a place is a great place to take yeah. a photo of your car. As it's well. nice. It's a lovely little town to sit and chill as well. There is, um, uh, where is it as well? There is, of course, uh, the Northern Lake, as we call it, the Northern Lake, but it's called. It's obviously got a proper name. Is that where um, we stayed the yeah. two years ago? When we said we yeah. stayed there too. We stayed there our first time, we stayed there on a second time. Really funny story actually is the reason we went to where the sea is because Alex from Fitted were was posting on Instagram oh, and they were like they had a boat and they're like 
I was like, these ball bags are literally in Where the Sea. They're out in a boat. They're flipping having time of live, lives. Why have we not went to Where the Sea? And I just remember sitting. I was like, James, do you want to Where the Sea here? Yeah. Sitting on the computer. I was like, looking at flying. Oh, not too expensive. Not too. Where, where would we stay? Just shows you, by the way, the difference in the prices from three years ago to mm-hmm. now. Because like when we when we are uh, booking our stuff, uh, the prices and ever is fully booked, and the prices are through the roof. But three years ago, we took a last minute. Um, we booked a flight for two days away, wasn't it? It was on a Thursday, wasn't it? And, and then we, we booked it for the pretty, Saturday. <coughs> pretty sh- like sharpish, because yeah. I remember you phoned me. We were like, Pete, you want to go to Wervesy? And I was just like, when? He was like, two days. And I was just like, nah, too much work <laughs> on. Like. So yeah, we on the Thursday, I just said to James, all right, screw it. Alex is there. They're in a flipping boat. I want to be in a boat. Don't why the boat. It was such a big deal, but sure. Uh, and then two days later, we were on a plane to Wervesy, and the, and the flights were cheap enough. The hotel, the apartment was cheap enough but when we rocked up we drove around the corner to this place which was like remember Stefan he kept raining right. flat out I was like he's like Stefan it's <laughs> actually how he sounds and he was, I was like I don't know why he was saying his own name either <laughs> how often do you ring people and just be like Adam <laughs> but anyway uh, we were driving uh, we turned a corner and then James went I think this is where Alex is staying I might know this is where we're staying Flipping there in the apartment below us of the whole, oh, right, the yeah. whole flipping. Out of all the places you could book, you booked the same places there. Booked the exact same place. Didn't even realize, and uh, which is good crack. Um, but do, that's really, really nice. That's in a place called. Let me see if I can picture this as well. Annenheim. Annenheim. Sounds about yes, right. Yes, Annenheim. Thank you. Uh, so that's at the Northern Lake, and there's a really nice car park there where a lot of people do shoots, um, where you can oversee that lake. And basically, we used that in our first. Um, in our first oh, film, uh, bless yourself, James. Bless me, sorry. We uh, we used that in our first film for all our drone stuff. Of that, she wouldn't make where the seat wasn't even the actual yeah. lake. Was it? I remember when we arrived, we actually thought that was the lake as well. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, where is everybody? I think that's the lake. Yes, we know everything. Uh, wasn't the lake? Um, there's a really nice castle up there on the edge. That's right. Yeah, yeah. really nice. So, but yeah, uh, Annenheim car park, beautiful, <laughs> gorgeous. Go see it. Any other photo locations? <laughs> hey, very nice. Yeah, well Multilingual, Pete. Um, me. Bring him up other cultures. Pretty uh, much everywhere is just really. Yeah, it's just a pretty place. <laughs> so it is. He's just waiting for me to speak. I was just waiting to see what we're moving on to. No, I was just saying if there's any other photo there. locations no, you can think of. Mention the car park under. Well, obviously, um, there's the Alpine Strass for photos. Yeah. Brilliant location. You could shoot the whole way up that. Loaded different car parks, different kind of advantages you can look at. Uh, around Fakersy, if you just drive around Fakersy as well, there's um, little windy roads and kind of nice car park. There's a lovely car park with like a, a jetty um, beside Fakersy where we shot uh, the nine, uh, 996 uh, a couple of years yes. ago. Um, yeah. I think you'd really struggle to go to Weathersea and not find Fine. somewhere yeah. to... Yeah, absolutely. Um what else have we got for us, James? Any other things to wrap our, our Worthy Sea discussion? Um, any funny stories about your Worthy Sea trips? No. Uh, no fun. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Never a fun serious trip. From start it's to finish. always so serious. <laughs> you had fun though last year in your smart cars? Yeah, we tried to go up the Alpine Strass in the smart cars. Um, probably not the best car to take up because we had to stop about four or five times to let them cool down. Because uh, they were struggling so bad, but uh, it was good fun. And then we were actually it wasn't even up the Alpine Strass. It was what do you call the road of the pyramid? The Paragongle. Paradongle. Paradongle. The dongle. Um, <laughs> we were heading up there, and then uh, you know there's always traffic and people sit at the corners yeah. watching you and you know to do launches and stuff. So we tried to do launches in the smart cars, but all they really did was kind of wheelie a bit, and then uh, just sort of they actually did a wheelie. Oh, they're like it's hard to explain, but you, you dropped the clutch and just went. <laughs> for people listening Pete just <laughs> jerk back and forward in his chair motion. <laughs> <laughs> let me describe what Pete's doing while you do that I'll do it, do it again, again. Dirt. back Dirt. forward <laughs> um, I really should have filmed that so you don't have a video of it though don't think so okay but you try to sorry wheel, about that you try to, you try to wheelie a smart car yeah I try to wheelie if we could find the, the fuse for the traction control I think we could have successfully wheelied one yes. more you well, just uh, have to take your word for it then. Yeah, you will really, have to, yeah. Really hope this woman in Italy is not <laughs> listening to this because like, you've... Here, come find me. <laughs> She's crying. 
Uh, okay, so uh, we're the C. 2020 we will be there we're doing that meet we're going to access car night we're going to have some limited edition merch merch merc i always say that which one is it rob merch mark merch it's merch gonna have some limited edition merch coming out before where the sea it'll be for sale uh sometime in april uh and then again we'll have some t-shirts and stuff we may be trading at excess car night to be confirmed keep an eye on our uh instagram for that um, what else have we got to say about Worthy C James to wrap it up? Anything that you would like to mention? You should definitely go because it's yes. probably the best. Yeah, it's like a bucket list show yeah. to go to, yeah. really, isn't it? Like it'll blow your mind the first yeah. time that you go mm-hmm. because there is literally just cars everywhere and they're mm-hmm. all finished to it's a very, very high, high standard. standard. Well, I see there's not just cars everywhere. There's B fives everywhere. Oh, there is so there's B5s. here. That's there's a very B five heaven. That's a very good point that we haven't actually uh, mentioned. The quality of cars. Yeah. You know, because we go to so many car shows and the quality of cars, let's be honest, is not always great. Yeah. Um, but in where the sea, it is. I am. You know, it's, it's the best of the best. Because I think it, it comes down to if you can afford to drive your car from wherever you are in Europe, go pay the prices for their hotels, yeah. stay there for a week. Maybe some people stay for two weeks. Um, you're going to have a bit of cash about you. like yeah. You know what I mean? So... Um, most of the boys and girls that go down, the cars are very, very high standard um, and all shapes and models as well. You know, it really is no longer just a Volkswagen event. There mm-hmm. really is a bit of everything. Um, those boys at Keen Suspensions kind of show yeah. that and we try and put that in our film the last two years, you know, from his Ferrari 308 to the uh, uh, Pantera. It's, you know, a bit of everything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You'll definitely see something you've never seen before if you go to where the sea like yeah. yeah. Without a doubt. Like. I'd never seen a Pantera before. I remember looking yeah, at that, that, like what like, the hell is this? <laughs> that's probably the first one I've ever seen like and I've I've known of the car but never yeah. seen one in real life. I'll be honest, I never knew <clears> anything <throat> about that car. Yeah. No, on a clue. I never even knew it was. What it was very, very loud. So yeah, it was <laughs> extremely yeah. loud. I um mean, there's been straight pipe cars like, but that's I think it was like the pipe was like that long. For people listening, I was about <laughs> 10 inches <laughs> that's a lot that's a short 10 inches there Pete <laughs> I will we'll compare it with something else <laughs> um, okay so uh, that's where this year wrapped up hopefully you find something interesting um, hopefully you'll go hopefully we'll see you there yep say hello to me say yeah. hello to James don't say hello to me what we're going to do now <laughs> really quick I think is we're going to pick um a winner from a competition last year. Might as well do last that right year. now. Do you Jesus really Christ. need to work out what a year in like, London is? Where are you living like right now? <laughs> the future. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I did that in the last podcast. Because you were too. talking about T9s and they haven't even come out yet. <laughs> I, Pete, while we're on our little break there, Tom came over and showed me what a T9 transport looks like in Google Images. I would recommend you to go Google because it looks very well. That's and lovely. Yeah. I can confirm that is what we were driving. <laughs> <laughs> the exact vehicle. The exact vehicle. Uh, okay, so we're going to pick... Um, a random comment from our last podcast comments, which was last month. There you go. Um, uh, it was like to win. Week, like, but, you know, Do you want to pull up the comments there, James, and see what you can come up with? My phone's turned off, but sure. <laughs> <laughs> you're the sort of lad that goes to the cinema. It's like, please turn off your phone. Now you're like, James, <laughs> like, oh, will. let me get my phone. Turn <laughs> Turns off everyone's phone that's with them and all. 100% you. All right. Well, while you're de- turning it back on, let me uh, have a look at the comments. Thank you very much, by the way, for people who give us some feedback um, and some questions. We're going to get to the questions in a minute, but first, I'm going to pick a random winner, complete a random. La 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 la. Make, make it more random. I don't, like, random. I don't like how not random. All oh, right. Should I copy the link into some random comment generator? Ooh, that'd be cool. All right. Okay. Let me do that. Talk amongst yourselves. Give me a quick second there. Hi, James. I think we can do that on post, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm not too sure how this works. <laughs> what do we do? Uh, so, okay, so we've got the random comment uh, picker here. So we have a winner. Here we go. Three, two, I don't know why I'm counting. One. Oh, there is actually countdown. Win. That's amazing. The winner is. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe this guy won. Because <laughs> whenever I seen this comment, we had a discussion about this in the office. And James was like, why did this guy post this comment? <laughs> and I was like, what do you mean? And we went and looked. <laughs> Can you no, is, it, is it not a good it's comment? It's that guy. <laughs> Basically, this guy is... The uh, comment is, or I'll read the comment first. James and Jay, you are shit. <laughs> Fully enjoyed these. this boy's being out about 
all day. Music gets boring <laughs> after a while. And I've been looking for a podcast to get into. And this is exactly what I needed. Certainly make them more frequently if you feel you have enough time, topics to discuss. Sound quality was clear too. Lots of love, Christopher X. So the winner is the car. R. Boyne? Is that, I had, am I saying that right? Am I saying that wrong? It kind of looks like car bone. <laughs> A bit. Carbon. Carbon. <laughs> the carbon. Any, are any of aware of carbon? <laughs> it's, it's carbon. There like, we it, go. Well, he's posted it with so many like, different I know, there's so many different... Uh, car... Car bone. <laughs> All right, well, here, you know what? I couldn't have picked a better comp myself. I do agree, James and JR shit. So, congratulations to Car. I want to know why he thinks you're shit. Well, yes. I'd like to point out that Jay got real upset and thinks that he has missed out the. So, thinks we are James and JR the shit. Oh, yeah. oh right. I actually okay. think I replied. Nah, to I the... think he just says you're shit. Yeah, I <laughs> absolutely like that. I think I replied to it asking him that. I was like, so maybe he's answered. Uh, well, anyway, uh, the carbon, please email us at hey at I love uk to claim your prize and explain why you think James and Jay are shit. Or they are the shit, but they're shit. (laughs) Okay, so uh, we're going to answer some questions that were in the last podcast. We haven't really done too much Q&As in the past, so this is going to be interesting. Hopefully there's some decent questions here. Um, If you guys found any there. Let's see. This guy, Connor Sherrock, great first podcast. Is ILB now your full-time jobs? Or have you used the camera skills acquired to branch off into different ventures? I like that. Uh, ILB is not our full-time job. Uh, nope. Our company is called The Hype Factory. We're a media production company. We make videos and photos for clients for money, basically. Uh, so if you want a video, hire us now. Um, but we also uh, <laughs> obviously have ILB based out of the same office. A lot of people that are involved in Hype Factory are involved in ILB. Um, but primarily it's James and I and Big C that would do the majority of ILB work. And then Jordan as well does the orders. So it's a bit of a mixed bag, I suppose. Uh, everyone does a bit of, did I got mixed bag? Everyone does a bit of everything. But yes, to answer your question, we have um, drifted off into different ventures. Uh, this comment saying, love it, lads. 100% get Pete and Tom on. Next. Successful. Yeah. We've already answered that one. There's Pete. Sorry, Tom. Tom's actually here. Tom's right here, he's but he's in, he's in not, the background. Yeah. We only have three mics. <laughs> That's all right. We, should, we can get ready to get a fourth to Tom. Tom, would you Hi. like to take my Do place? you want to take over? <laughs> 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 okay, so other questions we have. Um, let's see. Av- Avo did comments. Very upset that oh, he was geez. not mentioned in our... Uh, <laughs> Video because he, he said that he's really surprised we didn't get a mention given we've experienced nearly all of yous on the roads over the years. Okay, <laughs> James is Cleo more than once. <laughs> Should we explain that a little As bit? Yes. Yes. Okay, so we have a couple of friends, won't name them, but uh, well, James is ready to give the nickname, but uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, that are police officers in Northern Ireland, and uh, we have ran into them on numerous uh, occasions. Yeah, if you go past them with a headlight or something out, you'll normally get a wee message saying, uh, you can fix that headlight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think, actually. Well, actually, one of the most recent one was one of the guys, um, I was in my M3 and I was coming around into the office, basically. So it was just the corner before we got into the office. And I seen the police like pull in behind me just after the motorway and they followed me right to that junction. I was like, why these guys follow me here? Pulled around, was maybe 200 meters from the office. Blues and twos go on, the lights come on. I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> Pulls me over and uh, parked the side road. And I'm like, right, okay. So I was like, I haven't done anything wrong. And you haven't done anything wrong. Well, I had no number plate in the front. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> but they, they basically uh, pulled me over and a guy came up at the window and I had a clue who it was. And he was just like, <sighs> Going a bit faster. <laughs> I was like, oh, it wasn't. And he goes, oh, well, you know, I just thought I'd pull you over anyway because the car looks uh, looks very low to the ground there. You know, that's a bit too low, that car. And I was like, it's, it's just coilovers. You know, it's, he goes, uh, looks like a snowplow to me. You know, like, <laughs> like, give me the whole, like, question me about it. And I was like, I was starting to go, oh, Jesus, not one of these ball bags. <laughs> and, uh, and <laughs> that's it, maybe listening. And then all of a sudden, um, he goes, come out here and have a look at the front of this. I got out of the car and all came around and I was looking at the front and he was pointing on and I got I got quite like, you know, like defensive. Like, mate, it's fitted, fully insured. And all he goes, is your insurance company know about it? And I goes, yes, of course he know about it. It's fine. You know, like he goes, it's normal height. It's just lowered. And I turn around, there he is, standing there. <laughs> Flipping, just stand there. He's like, ha, 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 ha. Like, <laughs> basically, got, uh, basically got his partner to come up and scare the shit out of me. Like, so... 
I just got my ball bag and left. <laughs> One night in the uh, Cleo, I was driving past a uh, petrol station with Lewis McClay in my passenger seat, and there was this police car just sitting in the forecourt, and I drove past it, and I like I looked in and recognised that one of the passengers was bald, so I was like, mm, fair idea who that was. So anyway, out comes the cop car straight behind me, and I was just like, okay, here we go. Pulls up beside me, I look at him, and I'm like, okay. Lewis, absolutely none the wiser to who this was. I just dropped it down again and off I went, like <laughs> shot away. And Lewis was just like, just James, what are you doing? <laughs> That's the place. <laughs> it's just like, I was like, it doesn't matter, we'll smoke them. <laughs> so, blipped the whole way down the road. And I was going to McDonald's. So, like, uh, it was a two lane road and I switched off right and they went straight on. And he was going, they didn't even stop us. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> So we went to, got our McDonald's and we were sitting in the car park and we were sitting eating away and he was still absolutely Amazed. confused at what had happened. And all of a sudden this police car just pulls across the front of our car and they both get out and he was going, oh, Jesus. Oh, James. <laughs> <laughs> and there he goes, straight up to the wedding and he's like, hi, James. <laughs> I was like, going? Uh, see, I have a story about them, like, but it, uh, they don't know me, you see, obviously, but it was one time. Oh, they we just were... pulled you over. <laughs> no, yeah, pretty much. I, I, well, I was in Give the backseat of this car. And uh, it's a, it's actually a person I we don't really we're not friends with anymore, shall we say? But uh, I thought they're going to listen, so I don't really care. Um, <laughs> yeah, so we were fan coming off the carriageway, and these policemen had a, <laughs> <laughs> these <laughs> policemen. We know though. their names, but I'm well, not saying uh, they had pulled over. Uh, I think it was actually an IS two hundred, and they're also giving this wee lad a talking to. Uh, I don't know what he was doing. I assume he was diffing. <laughs> <laughs> dun, Not dun, diffing, dun. diffing. How dare he? <laughs> and uh, yeah, we went past in this car and then one of the guys who was in our car decided to hang out the window and shout at them. So he just hung out the window and just went, Argh! like out there. <laughs> And of course, they were like, right, is that right? And uh, of course, they uh, came and pulled us over and gave him an absolute ball tune. So that, rightly so. But they didn't, they weren't like, oh, hey, Pete, how's it going? <laughs> <laughs> like you guys, you know, we're in, you get the inside scoop here. Like, I was on the way back passing Apple Green M1. People in other countries haven't a clue what I just said. <laughs> um, dri- driving back to driving back to Belfast, in other words, on the motorway. There we go. There's a bit more multicultural. And uh, again, I. Um, past a police car, it wasn't speeding. It was just past him, and then he sped up. But I was like, I just, I just always have that, you know, that feeling of regret. You're like, oh no. <laughs> and then the police car is like slowly coming up. I don't know what they're doing in that time, like where they come, they they see you, so uh, they pull you over. What well, are they what doing? Is that time for? What are they doing yeah. in that time? Like, I is it, that was the, is the that radar like, thing to make sure they get? Nah, I think they're, they're, they're just, they're just I think, I, to scare you. I think they're, plates, yeah. they're hunting you at that point. They're just they know that you're sweating. Um, <laughs> But then lights go on, pull me over, and I say, oh, Jesus, what have I done now? And then they put, come up, and it's just like, what's happening on him? <laughs> just pull me over for yeah. a chat. <laughs> she just pulled me over for a chat. And I was just like, all right, what's happening? <laughs> you were shitting so, yourself. There you go. They, they uh, definitely uh, worth, they could have a whole podcast by themselves. Maybe, <laughs> yeah, maybe well, they should, could, you should bring them in. Maybe they should come on. We just blurred their face. Aye, like one definitely. of those BBC documentaries. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, a, what do you call those voice things that like, change your voice now? <laughs> I was uh, pulling you know. <laughs> <laughs> I've been practicing that voice just for this moment. Uh, yeah. There you go. Logan Scott, James, you're gay. I was about to pull that one up. That's I enjoyed that one too. It's going to come out sometime, <laughs> like, and I'm glad that it came out now. Sorry, man. So do you want to explain <laughs> Logan Scott's your girlfriend's brother? Yeah. Yeah, he's, ah, you're not just getting 12 or, 12 or 13 and a 12 year old rinsing you on the YouTube. Me, like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Comes in doing like TikTok dances and I'm just like, oh. that is a very 12 year old response to be fair. James, you um, okay. Here's a question. Roland Deep Crew asks, favorite car show you've been to? Hmm. Worth a see isn't a car show, so I'm going to say racism. Yes, I would agree. Racism and then... That's in the worldwide, and then for yeah. one local, I'd say Players Classic. Right, Players mm. Classic, yeah. local, down the road. UK based, definitely Players Same Classic. Same country, right? <laughs> Different country, I'd say. Nah. <laughs> uh, I like this guy. Come what else we got? Gracias. Gracias. Amigo. Let's see. Oh, there's a, oh, this, there's a comment. Do you mean the shit? I was asking the, the carbon guy. He hasn't replied. Do you want to talk um, about Nebu's comment? Do that? Uh, I mentioned Lebo about me dropping an F-bomb only yeah. a minute in. Sorry about that. Um, okay. Didn't get too many questions. Will you boys be doing podcasts on location from hotel rooms all over the world at events featuring guests? Yes, mm. we, we do want to do this. What we're thinking of doing is actually doing them 
uh, car shows where we have our setup. So uh, I'd like to film one at Ultimate Dubs, possibly on the Saturday. Um, we'll have to get somebody on. I think that'll be interesting. We'll definitely uh, then you'll be you can interview people yeah. over there. That would It'll be pretty. Because we're in Northern Ireland, it's probably going to be hard to get people over here. To That's why you're on. Yeah, <laughs> you're <laughs> the best. We can find here, so the you're the best guy we can find. Fall into the barrel here, like. And next week we have the cops with uh, blurred out faces. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> let's see what else we got here. Is there a car event or event that you have always intrigued you but never got to? Goodwood Festival Speed is a really obvious mm, one that I've man. always wanted to go, but it's always on the same date as something else. I have been. <laughs> I'm a little bit more cultured than oh, you. I've been, been, I've been, been Adam, yeah. actually. Drinking right. the Pims and all. <laughs> <laughs> mm. We Japan Strawbies as well. And cream. Japan, That's not absolutely. really a car show, but like. I was gonna say, I, I'm surprised you haven't done Japan yet. It's very expensive. I know. But that's, that's nothing. We would love your money. Like. So if you're watching this and want to take us to Japan, call this number. <laughs> Sponsor us. Put the number in there, Big C. <laughs> all right. <laughs> um, so what else? Uh, let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Love the stories about hearing about cars. Excited for episode two. I've got a story about a car, actually, about my car. Uh, this week, I took it down to John. Um, John Peyton mentioned him the last time. And he really hung all my doors. He finally fixed the doors. <laughs> 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 well, they a bit of background Pete, on these Pete, doors, right? He, he fixed the doors, Pete. <laughs> well, in about an hour. <laughs> in about an hour. <laughs> and then he told me, he goes, Adam... Do you ever wonder why that back window doesn't work? And I was just like, I'll tell, here, what do you mean? Tell us, tell us more. And then he goes, there's two bits of wood holding up. <laughs> <laughs> I went, I fixing? went, you motherfucker. <laughs> you, I, said, you I just went, Pete. <laughs> did you not hear me? It was only yesterday. Like, did you not oh, hear me it? screaming from Lurgan? Nah, I didn't know. But... <laughs> I mean, well, it was really, let's be honest, it, well, I'll take responsibility because it was right my here. business that did it, but <laughs> <laughs> there was a certain employee that's no longer with me that uh, screwed up his window. Well, no, no, the window, no, the window, oh, no. that was, was the lock, was was lock. That guy is sitting at, and I, I let for all, sorry, of, all, of viewers, all of yours know that I'm pointing off camera at Tom Kennedy, one of the first mm -hmm. times, like, this is class, this car, I just got it <laughs> on, he's like, this is class, let me, let me just try all the buttons, <laughs> and then all of a sudden, on the window, <laughs> snap, <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, up and down, up and down, up and down, <laughs> <laughs> window, uh, off the runner, and now there's two bits of wood. I mean, you can't Thank really you. hold me responsible. I'm a painter decorator. <laughs> you know what I mean? Painter decorator? <laughs> <laughs> what do you decorate? It's cars. I know you paint. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, but I, I have no idea how to work windows and so cars. Like. What, what? <laughs> yeah, but the windows aren't your fault. As you know, that's not your fault. I love you. You're still going to get me stuck about it, though. No, yeah. the doors. Oh, sorry, the doors. Right. I did try your doors. <laughs> I did. But let's be honest. Peyton's more of a... Uh, to be a honest, like, I don't know why me. I'm slabbering. Like, I couldn't hang a flipping door in a car to save my life. But What did he do? Uh, apparently, like, uh, there's, there was shivs was, in, there was the in them. So there was shivs in them, but... Uh, there was like four shivs in the top and four shivs in the bottom. And he was like, yeah, yeah you need to like remove some shivs from like the top and like keep oh, some in the bottom and vice versa. And then like the door lock was just a little bit sitting uh, too far out. Need to be mm. repositioned back to get a better catch of the door. He's there a wizard. Like, you know, he literally had it for an hour and had her sorted. So happy days. Well, at least that's one thing. I just anyway. thought I'd bring that up one thing. But yeah, the, yeah. the doors are looking well. Happy days. I'm happy enough. That's good so to what's hear. next for the car then? Uh... There's a guy that's you over there as well behind the cameras that's going to hook me up with some interior um, paint for uh, the in oh, interior. For the, for the <laughs> interior. Wow, the descriptions just keep getting better and better. For the uh, awful colored plastics. Yeah, the plastics that basically are going to um, get painted black because of the minute. Mm. Do you know this? <laughs> oh, another bear has just arrived. I don't know about this. I don't drink no. goodness. Um <laughs> I am oh. driving. Sorry, sorry. sorry. <laughs> Arama. You're definitely not now. I'm not now. So, funny story actually about the um, the plastics. Get some ASMR on this. <laughs> How's that? It's only one reason that Pete knows what that is. <laughs> <laughs> I watch porn. That? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a song. I watch porn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, funny story about the plastics on the 28. <clears throat> actually, I um, <laughs> bought the. Uh, do you remember this? Yes. I was like, uh, got the car and was like really lucky actually because to go on eBay and find plastics. Well, at least I thought. And mm -hmm. I, I just went by the photo because I 
my car obviously came, not obviously, but it came with all tan plastics. And yeah. I was like, I'm going to buy black, black plastics. And um, <laughs> when I went to get the, uh, the new interior fitted, I just put the box that I bought on eBay uh -huh. of these new black plastics. And then like two months later, the guy just went, opened them up and he was just like, um, <laughs> Adam, these are dark blue. <laughs> and I was like, what? And I basically ordered a complete wrong color. Yeah, I remember. It was like a very dark blue, but you're like, ah, it's black, man. <laughs> so it wasn't black. Uh, gonna, at all. gonna die those ones. <laughs> <laughs> not the not the tan ones. Hopefully it works out all right. That's um, a good idea when I saw that. So you was just on the tan ones. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. What about your uh, car, James? Any updates on that? Oh Jesus. I we uh we had a fun last weekend, didn't we, with it? Oh uh, we did. Our current ep MOT epidemic where yes. For people that uh, story, don't live in Northern Ireland, busy, we can't MOT cars at the minute. So. Yeah, it's actually pretty interesting though, to yeah. tell people about that. Well, All right, yeah. we'll go for Here it. we go. <laughs> Our test centers, because uh, people in England don't have, well, they do have test centers, but they're usually at their mechanics and stuff. So, But we have specific test centers just for doing MOTs. Run by the government. Run by the government. And that's where the, the shambles started, so really. Private. And uh, it they deemed the ramps unusable because they had cracks in them, so they shut down all the MOT centres. And basically, James... Can I just uh, mention, by the way, I go to the gym with one of the guys that f uh, repairs MOT equipment, and all he right. said that they notified the government. Uh, they notified you know, the authority that runs them yeah. like months ago that Aye. this was going to happen, but because there was no Northern Ireland Assembly and no Northern Ireland like government, the call, essentially. they couldn't put the money in to fix it. I don't know if that's 100% true, but that... I heard so a story, but I don't know if it's true or not, is basically a tender was put out for the ramps. They needed 55 ramps, and the company that had the ramps already in there, it's a company called Maha, and they lost the contract um, through, obviously it was a three years our assembly was down, and they put the tender out, and the Spanish company took up the contract, but this Spanish company didn't actually have any ramps. Uh, they had a prototype for a ramp, and they were going to try it in the MT centres, but they didn't have ramps. So this is where the, the problem is, because if they right. were to buy... Because the, the company that has the ramps in the MT centres have 55 ramps they can give them, mm. but if they were to buy them off them, they would be in breach of contract with the Spanish company. Right, okay. So that's why they couldn't, but I've heard there you go. that there is ramps coming. But... James. So, <laughs> back to... <laughs> So I took my yoke to Scotland, <laughs> took her to a garage. I got really serious there for a second. <laughs> Back to the diesel yacht. Yeah. <laughs> Back to the lake. So I took a Hilux to this boy in Scotland. And, uh, well, for, first of all, I arrived half an hour late because I had to get a boat. Right. And the guy was like, hello. And I was like, hello. I had a M1T boat for 10 o'clock. And he was like, it's half 10. You've missed it. And I went, well, I got the boat. And he went. Oh, okay. I suppose you couldn't swim any faster. <laughs> and then he walked out to the car with me, and he was like, so you just came over here for your MOT? And I was like, yep. And uh, his words were, so if it fails, you're fucked. <laughs> and I went, yep. <laughs> and then he went, well, I guess we'll not fail you then. <laughs> he definitely sounded a bit more Scottish than that, did he not? Can uh, you do no, this? No, the guy was actually English. Yeah. Oh. So was for, I was hoping for a Scottish there. accent uh, there. I really was hoping for a Scottish accent. It's whenever he asked us where we're from. Yeah, and the standard, fan. The standard <laughs> sort of uh, phrase is we're from Belfast, you know, when we're in a different country because it's just the easiest city that yeah. people know. And he's like, what part of Belfast are you from? <laughs> and we're like, all oh, right. Pete happened to say Bangor. I did. And the boy lived oh, in that's Bangor right, yeah. for three years. Yeah. So that was, we were... A match made. Oh, like, he loved us. He loved us. He, he didn't even brake test your car. He, he, he was like, is it permanent four wheel drive? And I was like, yes. And he sort of just left. <laughs> didn't come back. And then he came back. And then he just had a look underneath it. That was it. And through three? Oh, well, of course it did. Well, do, you, do you want to explain about the, 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 the diff lock situation? Uh, these, that whole I shambles. feel like these podcasts are becoming the confessions of ILB. Like, see if somebody's watching. <laughs> Cops well, pulling really us over. Like, yeah, go ahead. You know? Turns well, out your uh, diff locks were stuck on. Yeah, my diff lock was stuck on because it was getting work done in the garage. For the MOT prep. For the MOT prep. And whenever Pete drove it to me, I got in it. <laughs> it went to reverse, like, backwards and slightly turned. And I was just like, wow, my car doesn't move. <laughs> The diff locks must be on. So, and what speed sh should you do with diff locks on? The recommended speed's five miles. Right, and I was doing probably sixty. Yeah. So <laughs> we don't really. Wasn't know. ideal. <laughs> so we got off the boat, and I was like, "Well, I'll make it to the garage because the garage was like five miles away." Mm -hmm. Did that, 
got out of the garage and we were like, right, we need to get the diff locks off, which pretty much involved us <sighs> taking the connector off the transfer box. And then there was a couple That's of right. pins we went that to... we could touch. <clears throat> so we went and found a pawn shop, bought an extension it's actually lead. actually the original factory shop. So Sorry, the original factory shop, bought an extension lead. You're narrowing cutters. in your location here for people to hunt and down that MOT <laughs> center. <laughs> <laughs> we now know where it is, lots. But uh, yeah, bought an extension lead, bought wire strippers, went That's back right. to the car, stripped the extension lead, attached the extension lead to the battery, and then I sat underneath and then touched them to what do you even call it? The solenoid. The solenoid that which, moves it out of diff lock, which took the actuator back, and yep. then you know that was our, that we were flying. Went and got Pete's air. Yep, we went the Pete's back his car. Yes. No. Oh yeah. So, uh, well, name a very quickly here because you've had a lot of cars. Right. Some of your most recent cars. Uh, the last recent one that people probably remember would probably be the red TT that was mint green yeah. before that. We did a video of that with uh, in your workshop, actually. It's on our YouTube channel. If you flying around the, beach, right, the buggy yeah. and then on the bike and then with the TT. So that's right. Yeah. You got rid of that. I got rid of that and got oh I swapped that for an M3 an E46 M3, mm -hmm. so I did and that is the new sort of project car so we say. What happened on the way to Players Classic, Pete? What happened on the way to Players Classic with the with the M3 and the splitter? Oh, That's that happened on the way home. Uh, oh, oh, sorry, so potato, potato. Well, I remember <laughs> on the way over. If anybody knows E46 M3s, um, oh, we got they Beerman, know Beer Man here real quick. Most of on. them, Beer Man, sorry. Thank you, Berman. Most of them do <coughs> this thing with the boot floor, uh, and they sort of crack the boot floor. And I remember when we were heading over, I had James and JP in the car, and JP was in the back, and he's like, whenever I was changing gear, you heard this like real clunk, and he's like, oh, you can really feel the power like when he's changing gear. <laughs> Turns out the, the flipping rear cradle was about to fall out of my car. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that's what the last year has been involved, <coughs> trying to fix that, and it went a bit... Overboard and but I ended meant, up. I kind of meant the splitter though. Oh, the splitter fell off on the way back, and yeah. I couldn't care less about it. Right, involved, but did did, did somebody not drive over it? No, it didn't come off. Com oh. Did it come off completely? I can't remember. I no, but basically, Tom gave me a lot of crap because like a stone had his car. You, you fucking rode off the front of my car, she helped. <laughs> I thought what happened is the splitter came off and you drove. He drove over your splitter and he was raging. Nah, we so stopped, is he exaggerated this? It, it, it literally hit the dirt as we were doing. <laughs> I, I just <laughs> drive along and all of a sudden he's like, <laughs> Nah, we were racing. I think. We're, we're, doing, we're doing 70 all We don't race. Aye. Aye. We're Aye. doing 70 miles an hour. We must have been in the speed limit. Now we're doing 140. Like, were you driving the van, James? Uh, Did you win? No, I was in the No, no. I don't remember van. where you... Uh, you were not near us. Oh, <laughs> never mind. Sorry. Because uh, you were in with me, weren't you? Yeah, and sorry. I got distracted. Now. The spitter hit the dirt at about one... Oh, sorry, 70. Uh, <laughs> and... It kicked up a load of stones and started hitting Tom's car. And then when I realized, I pulled over and then kicked the spitter off the car. He was okay. very angry. It was. Because that was a very expensive splitter. <laughs> so you said, you're sorry, I interrupted you, but you're getting a bit carried away with the M3. What's, what are you doing on it? Yeah, so whenever we, we pulled it in last year, the story goes, pulled it in to get an MOT checked on it, and we knew it needed rear brake, brake lines. So Carlisle, Stephen Carlisle, SC Motors, we plugged there. Sorry. Uh, he decided to start stripping the rear cradle out to fix the brake pipes. And then he literally walked over to my workshop and goes, Pete, you might want to have a look here. And this is where we realized that the, the back of it was about to fall off. And, uh, yeah, so he's reinforced the rear of it now. Um, well, all back together. And then we've pretty much replaced everything underneath it. So it's now fully it poly And um, Everything's been powder-coated. There's new brake lines, new fuel lines. There's new everything. So, yeah, we went that far in the, underneath of it. So the top half's probably going to have to be the same. So we're going to go for a full restoration. So nice. Yeah. Very well, nice. Doing similar work to the Hilux myself. Ah, of course yeah. you are. <laughs> yes. oh. But uh, but no, at the minute I'm driving my Mark 7.5 Golf State, uh, which I bagged this morning with Tom. You did it this morning just before you came here? Ah, I just, just threw them in. So that, you know. What are you doing tomorrow, lad? Oh, I've got to spend an hour here and throw these struts and get around the dirt. Was your side quicker than Tom's? Well, actually, Tom did the front and um, I did the back. So, yeah. The who back. finished first? We sort of finished at the same time. Oh, that's always it? the way, isn't it? Yeah. But it was a team, team effort. So which one? Which, what's typically more The awkward? fronts are always a bollocks. So, yeah. Is that why you give him to do? That's the well, I was like, I'll do the bit there, Tom, and you, you, you take over the front there. And I was like, sucker. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, so that's, that was done today. You drove here with it tonight, so. Yeah. Needs a wheel alignment, but apart from that, it's 
Driving 100%. pretty well. Nice. What's the window wiper thing? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> right, so we're a bit of a flurry because obviously we had to get up here to do this, and we're running late. And uh, I love the way I was like, oh, "Why them lads? They know we're filming this podcast at this time. Why are they running late? <laughs> oh, they were just bagging his car. <laughs> <laughs> of course we were. Oh, well, I thought it was just typical Pete being late. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, I was literally putting. Yeah, my, I can't drive my car. <laughs> getting that stance game on lockdown, like. Um, no, we the wipers was pretty funny because we were. I were putting the wipers back on because we had them off because the scuttle panel was out to do the front strut top mounts, obviously, for the bolts. And we were putting it back on, and I sort of said to Tom, is that where it goes? And he was like, yeah, 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 it looks grand. So I bolted it in and then hit the wipers, and, of course, it hit the B-pillar, just came up and went, like, out there, and I was like, well, that's not right. So uh, we tried to reposition. For those listening, (laughs) Pete slams his hands above his head in a clapping motion. Uh, So we, I took them off again and repositioned the uh the wiper where i thought it should be and then i hit the wipe actually tom hit the wipers and they didn't work and i was like what the hell have we done <laughs> and then i tried them didn't work checked the fuses all grand tried like unplugging the wiper motor all grand and I'm like what the hell have we done like the washer jets or nothing were working what was wrong with the bloody bonnet was open <laughs> 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 just at our flurried state we were like we're idiots like let they close the bonnet perfect no problem <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing so yeah but yeah if you want your car painted like <laughs> painted and decorator Pete works yeah. <laughs> Pete works I just called you uh, oh, should dear. we brand that uh, what, any other plans for that car uh, yeah you'll see it at dub shed with certain other Bits attached to it, shall we say? Cool. I'm not keeping it pretty secret. M3 so. not coming up for dub shit now? Nah, I'd say it'll be lucky if it's our 2021. <laughs> it's uh, going to be right. a fairly long build. A long-term so project? Yeah. Um, I put a straight pipe on my yacht. I know she sounds class. <laughs> sounds like a tracker. <laughs> I actually drove James's car for the first time. Can we With call it a car pipe? any longer? Mm. Or is it more of a truck? I like the word truck. I was going to say it verges on truck. I drove James's truck yesterday for one of the first times. I don't know why I've never... It's good. Actually, it's good fun, yeah. Mm. <laughs> he came out of the uh, the the yard and uh, turned and looked to the left, and I was just driving along the car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just on the foot. Just on the car. <laughs> Pedestrians <laughs> flying everywhere. <laughs> I was just on the car, like <laughs> touching the grass and all. I was just like, ah, oh, living the life uh, here, lad. But uh, It sounds very well. It sounds like I'd like to drive it now and it's got it straight pipe because I was driving it last week, obviously. And people look at you even when it wasn't making noise because mm-hmm. it's just such a big beast of a thing, obnoxious. But now it's like sounds like a track. I actually pulled out of a junction earlier in front of someone and they just stopped and waved me. <laughs> I'm like, let's go, <laughs> I was like, terrified. <laughs> I love the way Jim's such a nice little lad. You know, he's so polite. Oh, and then he's just driving this monster truck. Like, I will eat your soul. Someone uh, built, like, into my later earlier. And I just went straight up behind them. I was just like, I... Like, Screw that guy. Fucking <laughs> you took us on to a good point there. Uh, shows we're coming up to, we'd like to mention at the end of the podcast. Uh, uh-huh. But shows that are coming up. So what shows are we going to in March? We are going to Ultimate Dubs. Yes. And we are going to Dubshed. So Dubshed's the local Northern Irish show. It's actually um, in April. So it is. Oh, Jesus. <gasps> Sorry. So hey, just forget I said that. We'll talk about that in next month's podcast. All right. No, okay. So, Ultimate Dubs is the first one we're going to. Um, I think we're going to have the E28 there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, hopefully, we'll have that there. Um, and we will have some new clothing dropping at that. And then, yeah, as you said, Dub Shed in April. So, um, those I'm are the next two shows for. we're going to. Um, any other shows we're going to? Northern Iron, sort of. Northern Iron. Norn Arn. Norn Arn. Norn Arn. We're still in the winter. Like last the year I did. storms are hitting us. I honestly did dub shed and that was the only show I did here. Aye. Uh, That's the problem. It's sort of, we used to do the smaller yeah, shows like Harney are, Hill and all. Yeah, bring it back by the way. He stopped it. Yeah, smaller. Uh, Weed's listening. You need to bring it back. The smaller ones have died out a wee bit. Like, yeah. Well. They are always the good ones too. So they are. But yeah. yeah. So Ultimate Dubs and then Dub Shed. Um, those are the next two shows. Um, anything else we need to mention here? I was actually, well, I had one more question here, which was, uh, Wade first of all said, when can you have the South Africans over for a chat? Whenever well, you Wade, get the flight over, we're waiting. <laughs> we're waiting here. <laughs> we're waiting. Go. When's your flight arrive? Yo. Beers are in the fridge. Um, Sam Banger said, I'll be billed. Will you ever do one? Oh, we did one. Remember the other year, the, the ball pit? <laughs> <laughs> that was no, a full build. We watched. <laughs> we watched that video recently. We need to do another one of those we videos. Do. We do. Like that is like we just need there to was r- so much crack as well. Technically, like. I bought a uh, a golf and then like 
I would That's just still not boys' name. We never signed the V five, right? <laughs> <laughs> and then we cut the roof off. <laughs> I transferred uh, the money. Uh, but it's still well, his car, but it just has no roof. I don't know where it is. I remember like we wanted it to be a ball pit, but you didn't buy enough balls. I want, <laughs> balls are damn expensive. Your balls are more expensive <laughs> than the fucking car. <laughs> so you put a bit of cardboard in to like uh, <laughs> level it out. Well, the issue, the real issue was, is I bought the balls and then they were in like cubic meters and we're like right that that's oh, enough yeah. and then it wasn't enough time to buy any more <laughs> so we had to like fill the thing that's full right. of cardboard uh but yeah we need another excuse to do something like that um definitely need another here we could use tom well it's maybe a source subject at the minute yeah, but tom's old b5 uh, yeah, sure. you saw that volvo you give me i think scrap mm-hmm. Will I would chop the Volvo. What do you mean the Volvo? I sold you. Else, <laughs> touching this by the way, because like I hey, heard James like last upset. week said not to buy a car off me. What what was that about? Eh? What is it? Sorry, he said not to buy a car off me. Who? Well, well, James. Whenever did I went week. to MOT, the car oh, sorry, that I bought. Last, last, you, last podcast, sorry. You do sell lemons. What do you mean lemons? <laughs> I prefer them. I'm a cultivator of lemons. <laughs> you use your friends to get rid of the shit that you don't want. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> but you're trying I, to I had that Volvo all of about two days, and James was blocked in my car. He's like, I ain't no bass. Well, you, you took told me adva- that was the best thing that you ever owned. You took advantage Here. of our James. And so How many you- miles does it have on James? It's like 386,000. <laughs> yes. And you're, he's complaining. That James is telling us. That's not wrong. James is telling us at the minute it's worth five grand. Is it? Easy. You want to buy it? This is worth five grand. Five grand, I'll give you. He keeps that in the office. That's worth five grand. I'll make one of myself for five grand. <laughs> Where have you seen these five grand ones? <laughs> I actually said maybe 1,500 pounds. Ah, oh, sure. right. It's gotten blown out of proportion. Five grand. Yeah. 1,500? Wish she fixed? I, I'd, I'd like to see that back. Yeah. Right. Are you going to fix it though? This is the question. Absolutely not. It's going to nah. sit in fucking Carlisle's possession until it dies. Here, well, there's, there's chat that might have to leave the yard. Well, so. you said that you put it in your house. I know, I don't want to say that. Like, why? <laughs> why did I do this to myself? <laughs> <laughs> hey, she was keeping her here. Keep her mind. Free of charge. You know what I mean? Um, going back to that question, by the way, will you ever do one? Yes, we'd actually like to, love to do one. Here, you should give us some suggestions on what yes, to do. Yes, it'd be good. Some suggestions. What What would you like to see us actually build? Because um, I think it's about time we actually did a project car and did a YouTube series on it. So if you'd like to see something, let us know um, what you think we should do. Um, as long as it's rear-wheel drive and Japanese. Uh, <laughs> and, and, an an and, a PS, and a PS13. <laughs> suggest whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for giving away the exact car they were thinking about, James. <laughs> <laughs> Love a PS13. If anybody has a PS13, call this number. We'd love to chop the roof off and put, turn it into a ball pit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. So uh, I think that brings us to the end of the podcast. Um, before we go, of course, previously mentioned at the start, if you want to support our channel um, and the podcast, please visit our shop, uh, shop.ilbdriversclub.com. Buy some merchandise, t-shirts like this, jackets like this. Hats like this. Look at that. That was like really actually practice it. Yeah, I actually can't buy this hat anymore because uh, it's all out. It's all um, out. All our you can buy it off me though. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's Get lemon. your offers it's probably, in. It's probably <laughs> it's a lemon. It's probably a lemon. Um, we actually had a bit of a story of this hat. Huh? Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Um, but yeah, support our, if you want to support our channel, please uh, head over to the shop. Uh, at the minute, we had currently have Worthy Sea posters uh, for sale, just like everything else in the shop. Uh, they're all limited editions. So once they're sold out, they're gone. Um, so yeah, Thank you very much for joining us, guys. Um, oh, competition. Oh. Every uh, every uh, month we do the podcast, we're going to pick a random winner, um, just like that carbon guy that slabbered to you. Car- and- <laughs> I am shit. <laughs> slabbered to you and Jay. I hope you're, ha- believe that you I hope you're happy. I hope you're happy. Let's you message okay. send James and I Jay. Oh. Should, should we ask them to see what Yeah, we're hold right. on. So... Uh, uh, carbon g- carbon guy messages and next next month we will pick another winner so uh, just comment on the YouTube uh, podcast episode go to ILB TV on YouTube drop a comment next month we will pick a random winner to win some merchandise and uh, Pete what do you have right well I was <laughs> my idea was to do this on the podcast but I conferred with James and Against my better judgment, I think we shouldn't because <laughs> it would just be us like panting for the next 10 minutes. But so, you're, what are you right? So, I'll show you what I bought here. You're gonna bring it out and say, Should we do this? Well, we're gonna do it, but we just want to know if there's like a certain setting that we should do. Okay, it right, okay. But uh, yeah, so I bought these chips. So, essentially, these are the world's hottest chip. Okay, they're made with uh, Carolina Reaper Reaper chili, which is the hottest chili in the world. 
I like a sound lot. I watched videos of people yep. eating them, and it if is... you if you type in the one chip challenge into so they're eating it. I go. It's a sealed no packet balls. with a devil sticker on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it has it like this ridiculous looking chip thing. Did I? No, no balls. Do I have to eat the whole thing? Can I just take a bite out of it? Nah, the whole. F- no. I, th- I think it's like a half hour ordeal. Yeah. <laughs> Not for me. There's Look at that. Are you doing it? Well, you do it. You brought it. I'm them. only doing it and all the boys do it. I don't think a podcast is... Do you know like this is the right <laughs> setting? Do you have what it takes? Can you handle the two million school Scoville? This one chip punches. This is the ultimate challenge for any heat seekers. The chip is made with the Carolina Reaper chili, which is over two million on the Scoville heat scale. It is the hottest chili in the world. Two million? <laughs> <laughs> Don't, Never mind Tabasco don't sauce say is about you have a thousand word. Not units. suitable for children. So. Do not eat if you're allergic or sensitive to spicy foods, peppers, uh, or nightshades. Pregnant or have any medical conditions. I'm actually pregnant. Oh, yeah, or if you're a little bitch, like Adam here. Well, yo, you're not. Let me see you do it first. Nah, all together, nothing at all. Sorry, guys. We are the musketeers after all. <laughs> right. Well, let's do it then. <laughs> are we doing it now? Are you gonna do it? Come on. We're gonna do it, James. Right well, now. I can't hardly leave the podcast. We use like saying, oh. I brought these chips, but I'm not going to try them. <laughs> Hold on. How much of this am I trying? We're doing yeah, the, whole the whole thing. thing. <laughs> the whole thing. Here, by the way, there's four of these. If anybody else wants I'm to get on the action. It's open. Yeah, open. Oh, my God. I just tasted the packet. <laughs> 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 the packet. I literally ripped it in my teeth. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, mine broke. Oh, oh well, no. Just do D- does anybody want to take the fourth there? No takers. How many am I doing of this? How much? Is, can someone get me a bucket before I eat this? Because I'm definitely going to be sick. You think so? Oh yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Like, I'm a bit nervous about this, boys. How do you open it? I, uh, this I don't have to do the whole thing. Like, yeah. just this like, little. Well, like I feel I like if we get people in the comments it. might have something to say about that. That's not really the one chip challenge. That's more of like half, half a chip, chip challenge. challenge. Right. Well, let me see. You. I, I don't know why I'm digging deeper. Open this, like, I'm, re- I'm really nervous there. All of a sudden, <laughs> this is a good. How half the hell? Like that you're gonna be. We're in this. Like, hey, we're going for dinner after this. Were I you? just tasted the packet. <laughs> Why can't I open them? I you brought them out. Has anybody got scissors? You brought them out. Where's the other half of your tip? I can't this get this, this open. Is a terrible idea. <laughs> this is the. the, the is it? Sorry, JP. Your birthday's ruined. Yeah, birthday's ruined. JP, man. Has anybody got scissors? That we nervous. can open these. I'm really like nervous. Fuck. Are you doing it? I Hi. feel like if we can get it open. Can I just try a bit of it? No, because we'll you'll not do the rest. <laughs> 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 oh, there's scissors. Oh, Scissor lovely, mom. lovely. Beer guy sort of is out. All right. The doing this, James? Yeah, are, are we? <laughs> well, I'm cutting it open, so that's Mine, Why is mine broken to a million bits? Oh, fuck off. This is going to be terrible. I didn't want to do this. This is like. <laughs> Here, you said you're up for it the other day. You said I'm up Yeah, but like... then I, I like convinced you that we weren't going to do it in the podcast. <laughs> but then you brought it out, and I would look like idiots. Right, well, uh... our chef here. No, I've got three bits Somebody should take this number four chip, like. Ricky, come on. Someone who's Someone. coming, like. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're going here. Here, come on. This is such you bullshit, ready? like. <laughs> Ow. How are you doing, boys? Uh, well. It's done. They never it's did it. see James again. <laughs> I'm probably going to get a very red face right now. It's spicy. Oh, I can feel it on my tongue. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Are we allowed to drink beer? Like, I've already necked it twice. Oh. I see. <laughs> 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 oh, I can start to feel it now. My tongue is lit. <sighs> Fuck it. Oh. <laughs> Might be some swearing here. Holy shit. I, I see. I planned to bring a lot of milk here. But then when he said we weren't doing it, I didn't bring the milk. So well, that's good. Screw Someone get me a Guinness. <sighs> <sighs> How we doing here, boys? <sighs> It's getting powerful. My tongue. Oh my god. Ah, <laughs> uh, my this, eyes water. This is a terrible idea. <laughs> uh, is beer man. Beer. Yeah, I need, I need beer. Whew. I need beer. Beer man, I need beer. It's just getting worse. Holy <laughs> shit! Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck. Uh. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> I like the uh, way we waited for uh, the comments. Like, oh my, oh my god. god! Is my face red? I'm crying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm crying. He's crying. He's crying. <laughs> oh, my lips are going, boy. Uh, 
Woo! My lips are numb. I gotta be sick. What? <laughs> <laughs> we oh broke God. James. <sighs> <sighs> if you want your podcast rain, bring Pete along. Oh my God. Woo. It's like it's. You good? You come back? Sorry, I told the lad I'm not gonna be sick. That was like me in the boat last week. <laughs> Oh yeah, uh, milk. Oh, there's milk. milk. Unbelievable. <laughs> there is a way people do this, by the way, where they don't drink anything for ten is that minutes. Actually, milk, or is this? Is it milk? Lie. Yeah, just jizz a lot. <laughs> <laughs> is up. That... Oh, thank God. Oh. I think I'm shaking. I don't think I'm going to be able to taste for dinner. That's possibly the worst thing I've ever had. <laughs> 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 My stomach's shaking. <sighs> <laughs> I wasn't wrong about what I said. The last ten minutes is just we all dying. Oh. I just sneezed. <laughs> I don't want to be alive anymore. Oh, don't cough! Don't cough. Mm. So, like, apparently the ten minute mark of this is the worst bit. No, what? Oh, ten minutes is the the. It's not even bad yet. Oh, my lips hurt. <sighs> <sighs> Somebody do the fourth one. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> don't don't touch your eyes. Uh, yeah, don't touch your eyes. Oh my god. <sighs> it's so bad. I'm sorry, but this is this is comedy gold, like. This, as ideas go, this is one of my worst ones, I'm not gonna lie. I get lightheaded. That is. I don't think I'm going to be able to drive. <laughs> I get dizzy. Any more liquids in this joint, Lord? <laughs> Bring more milk. <laughs> we need more milk. <laughs> we need ice cream. <laughs> we need it all. <laughs> I'm shaking. What is life? Uh, is this podcast <laughs> over? Are they ending up like? It's the worst thing I've ever done. Oh. Yeah, I. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's just. <laughs> oh my god. It's not even any better than it was at the start. <laughs> it's not even any better. I'm alright at the minute, like. I'm just fucking sweaty here, like, but. Oh no, no. Oh. no. Not good. Oh, my back. Here, there's another one. <laughs> Hi. Like it. Who's doing the last one? It's not me. I like the time. I need more milk. Ooh. <laughs> I give, get, give us that. My legs are shaking. They're creeping I'm savoring it. Because I don't know whether the next one's coming. When's that out of date? Eight days out of date. That's going to be spicy. <laughs> I don't need to go, man. I'm gonna have no fucking I ain't gonna whatever it's called. Well. <sighs> fucking right. Have it done? Is this over? It's not even any better. I feel like I felt in that boat last weekend, James. I can't even talk properly. What's this for? All right. What's, the, what's that thing called? <laughs> what? What's it called? One chip challenge. Oh, no, no. It does it hell? I like both <sighs> Can we leave? Right, this is over. <laughs> Bye, guys. Yeah. Goodbye. Cheerio. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Bye. Run it, Bob. Oh.